Hey guys, this is a video on upper back engagement for back squats. So, these are very important points of performance of the of the squat. If you uh, think of a squat, uh, the uh, musculature that is holding that by the is the back, right? Uh, the prime movers are the legs. Uh, so we. Uh, uh, th they're both equally important. Uh, if the back is loose uh, and the spine is, is uh, uh, soft, uh, the lift is not going to go very well, your base is not going to be very solid, no matter how, uh, your, how uh, strong your legs are, uh, you're not going to feel safe and you're not going to squat very much. Good, so upper back engagement is fundamental. Uh, good, and the main problem is that people don't know how to do it and wait too long to do it. So, uh, uh, an excellent technique or uh, strategy to uh, guarantee super good back engagement, upper back engagement, is to start the lift here at the rack. Not when you're out of the rack, but right at the rack. And what you're going to do is you're going to use, uh, uh, take to you, to use uh, the fact that um, the bar is solid and stable, use that to your advantage to get the best positioning on your back that you can, right? Like, when the bar is really heavy over here, it's not the moment to readjust. That bar is super heavy, you cannot move it freely. But here the bar is there set, and you have all the time and all the, uh, uh, all, all, everything you need to really set up yourself properly. So, you're gonna have your hands in your regular squat position, you're gonna have your feet right under that bar, come under, and you're gonna really use that rack. So, as you see, I'm pressing against that rack, and I'm trying to find the best position. Good. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the bar towards me. As if I were doing a pull up. I want neutral grip on the hand and I'm pulling the bar towards me. If I do that as if we're doing a pull up, what's going to happen? You're going to engage the lats just like you do in a pull up. If I engage the lats, the lats are these huge muscles that come from here all the way down here. My back is tight. If I wait to when I have 170 pounds here to do that, I'm not going to be able to do it. Right, so I'm gonna come here, press that bar against the rack, my feet are under that bar, I'm pressing, I'm pulling the bar towards my uh, shoulder blades and then I'm pushing the, my back against that bar. And when I come out, that engagement is still there. I don't lose it at any point. It's just here then I let go of that back. But the back, the upper back engagement is gonna start here, so if you are a little bit like loose there and then I try to do it, it's not gonna work. Definitely not with a lot of weight. So whenever you're lifting heavy and if strength is your game and you wanna maximize strength on the back squat, your lift starts here, not when you have unracked. That is the first thing. Pull the bar against your shoulders, push yourself against the bar. Second thing. Uh, good. Uh, and the last thing that I wanted to say is regardless of how heavy the bar is, like if you're in your warm-up sets or you're in your working sets, you still want to reinforce this ritual. You cannot wait to when the bar is like super heavy to start doing it because it's not going to happen. Uh, 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 you have to practice this uh, with any single rep. The same goes to anything in, in weightlifting. You have to respect all, all the weights. Uh, you cannot expect to really focus and concentrate and give it your all uh, to the working sets. That's that that is not gonna, that's not gonna work. What works is like if you can manage and you can do things on the on the lightweights, you're gonna be able to do it on the big weights. Uh, but if you can, if you don't do things on the lightweights, they're not gonna be there for you on the big weights, uh, right? And so no matter what weight you have there, you're gonna come here, come under. The lift starts here. I'm gonna engage my back pull the bar against me, come down, that upper back is engaged, I'm gonna squat and up, crash, down, and then I lose my back. That is it, upper back engagement for back squat.